word. Welcome to the B side word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I'm Devin and I'm here with Emma. Howdy for the new year, 2021. I'm, I'm here with CJ. Hello. And I'm here with Alexander. Ahoy. And we are back for 2021. Wind it up. Thank <laughs> God 2020 is over. <laughs> well, I mean, I thought that 20... Well, I didn't think that. I was hopeful that 2020 one would be a little bit smoother sailing than 2020 however uh what how many days are we in nine days in <laughs> so not running, it's running it's not running smoothly <laughs> that's not even just what in australia nice? it's just the leakage from 2020 that's all it is oh yeah you know got, is that what we're calling him some spillage yeah mm. spillover mm. interesting what do you think siege yeah, what, what would you call it instead of spillover He's the turd that won't flush. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not bad, actually. <laughs> that's not bad. Well, I hope it does flush eventually. <laughs> um, how did you spend your New Year's, guys? I, I stayed awake until midnight, as I normally do, just to see it in. And through my beautiful window i was gonna I got say, a display of all of the fireworks fireworks was crazy it was nuts it was the, i think the two most fascinating things were one just the blanket level of fireworks i got to see no matter what direction i looked there were fireworks going off yeah and then the other thing was how quickly the sky just became like a cloud because of all the, <laughs> the, the bangs going off so it just like got dark <laughs> it was weird two things um, right Alexander, have you ever seen fireworks during the day? No. It's not impressive. I, 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 I was going to say, I don't think I have either. It's horrible. Try try looking up fireworks display during the day, and it is horrible. Where has there been fireworks in the day? <laughs> they just... I, I, can, I, can, I can take your word for it. Have you... S- have you seen it in person? Have you only seen it on video? On video. On video. And it's just like these smoke, like you see the smoke. But it's like, huh, this is not spectacular at all. Did you see that video you sent, Dev, where um, they were setting off illegal fireworks? But they were so close to them. Yeah, they had boxes and boxes where we used to live, Siege. They had boxes and boxes at the park, right? And then they lit them all up to the point, like, the, it was just filled with smoke, right? And the riot sure police. Shotguns? <laughs> the riot police had to come <laughs> and, like, chase them all down. It was just incredible. The, the so riot dangerous. police. That we just called them the police. But there's like, you know how usually you have to like have a certain distance between where the fireworks are and whatever. Yeah. They were just all like running in between these boxes. Like what? It was a good start no. to 2021. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I remember one of the, once uh, one of the boys lit a firework. And you know when the freaking thing falls? That happened to me. Everyone, ju- everyone just <laughs> runs out of its way. <laughs> That actually oh, happened to me. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I, I ran to the garage, like to hide <laughs> behind the garage. I'm not, I wasn't copping up fireworks to the head. <laughs> so Imagine this... it. How unlucky would you be if it went around the garage and hit you? I know. <laughs> One of the boys ran back and pushed it back up. Oh really? Oh no way. Yeah, I, I don't have that. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> First of all, I'm not. Stu- I'm not stupid enough to light up firework without a steady base. <laughs> It's steady based. Emma, do you remember uh, Patrick our Robinson's uncle lighting house. fireworks? Well, that one. But do you remember our That's uncle lighting fireworks in our back garden? And he just put them in like beer bottles. <laughs> that was his. That was his version of safe, safety. I don't with fireworks. even remember having fireworks from our back garden. It was just See, like was, he just had some random ones. Oh my he just, god! He just stuck some sticks. In the beer bottles and then just lit them. We're like, this is not going to end. <laughs> oh my God. Where did we watch from? <laughs> the safety. The back, the back door. <laughs> oh God. Ode to yay grandma because our grandma passed away just over Christmas period from dementia. Um, but it's related to... Um, this next article, which I thought was actually really lovely. 
So in Japan, I think it's in Japan, um, they this couple or this family opened up a little pop-up restaurant and the name of the restaurant was is called the Restaurant of Order Mistakes and they only hired um, waitresses that all had dementia or Alzheimer's to take the orders. That's pretty so crazy. It, That's a pretty yeah, crazy concept. Yeah. So the chefs were professional yeah, or whatever, but the but the all the waitresses were yeah. So they and the, and the fact that they named it the restaurant of order mistakes. So people go in there expecting that oh yeah my my order might get like you know mixed up or whatever, <laughs> but um they they were just basically doing it so that they could. You, Let you, people know that people with dementia and Alzheimer's sort of are like capable happy. of more. You're than... so, sort of happy if you get your the wrong meal. If you go to somewhere that's called that, yeah. you'd be disappointed if it came out correct. Oh, <laughs> I got my no, I got no. my beef steak. I got what I asked. I got my steak. Damn it! <laughs> to, be, to, 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 to be honest with you, if I got the right order, I'd be like, man, she's she's still going pretty <laughs> good. This one. Are you sure? I would. Are I... you sure you're supposed to be working here? Are you? Hey, like, are you sure? I need a, I need a job. <laughs> <laughs> I would give like the order that I didn't want, just hoping in hopes that I'd get oh. what I wanted. <laughs> and see the reaction of the person that gets it and go, yeah, that was me. That was me. Oh my goodness. So, oh. like, this is brilliant, by the way. Absolutely yeah. love this. Yeah. I, I just agree. wonder how, like, because uh, the pic- so the picture at the top of the article is what looks like one of the waitresses and she's got pen and paper. Yeah. So if she writes it down, how does where does the opportunity to forget what the order is come in? In fact, they I think they said uh. they encourage the people at the tables to to write their orders down, but it still go it still gets mixed up like plenty of times. <laughs> so they just they just bring out the wrong like bring it to the wrong table. The wrong table. Would, Maybe. Mate, I, I would I, I would order the most expensive meal on the house. <laughs> And be praying it goes to the wrong table. <laughs> but I it's just, just a I, pop-up restaurant, and I think it was probably during like Alzheimer's Awareness Week or something like that. But they're wanting to do more of them, and the people that were working there, the actual elderly ladies, were loving it. Like they were so like just happy, and yeah. I think it's such a good way to uh, like ingratiate these. I guess I don't know what else. Like, disease, is it disease technically? I don't know. But like these things is, into yeah. just a normal society and a normal economy. Like, yeah. as you say, you brand as look. You come here, you're probably going to get the wrong food. Then no one's going to be disappointed. But you're still giving these people the opportunity to be part. There's of. still space, eh? Hey? There's still space to yeah. for these people but to. But, yeah. Is it a disease? Yeah. Dementia. I thought it was like. The, I thought it was like the de- deterioration of the brain. Which is a yeah, type I don't of know disease. What, I, yeah, I don't know what the definition of disease is, if I'm really honest. Isn't it that. Alzheimer's disease? I don't know. I'm not, I don't think so. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is says it. it? Oh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Well, it's Google. Google says it. <laughs> Google yeah. it is Google. Al- The official is Alzheimer's disease. Google. Hey, Google says it. <laughs> and Google. Um... Yeah, but I thought that's really cool to be honest. I actually really I would I would go if there was a pop-up restaurant, I would go. Um so talking about restaurants in Japan as well. There was another one where I don't know, you, we might have seen this before somewhere, but they use the they call macaque, Macau monkeys. What are those like small ones? Macaque. I thought Maca- I thought Macau was a place. Macaque. I think it's macaque. <laughs> and they've got these like they're the small so they're like the really small ones. And they use their Cute ones. those to they bring went, out got, got people's. Done the <laughs> yeah. Well, they had one <laughs> monkey that used to do it, and then they had another monkey that wasn't a waitress or anything. But off her own back, she went and took a napkin to a a, a diner one one time. Mm-hmm. So like, oh, okay, because she copied the other monkey. So now they use both of them, which I don't actually agree with this, by the way. But they actually they're so cute, <laughs> and like she brings the oh, bottles of oh, beers out. I was and watching. Do you remember Ham- uh, Hamish and Andy Siege? Yes. They've got this um, mini series called Gap Year, right? And what Emma's okay. talking about, um, Hamish said to Andy and said, oh, "I don't like how this monkey 
I don't like how I don't like this monkey serving us. And uh, Hamish goes, can, or, or Andy goes, can you get a human to serve us? So the monkey puts a human a human face on as a mask. What? <laughs> he goes up to the beer and he gives him that, the beer. That, <laughs> that would be so cute, man. <laughs> and Hamish goes, oh look, it's a small lady. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even, I've not seen oh, that, man, or maybe I have. I can't remember. <laughs> that would be ador- that would be adorable, but <laughs> oh, but you don't agree with that, Emma? No, I don't. But I just love monkeys in general, so it's just they're just so adorable. But yeah, unless they're flicking shit at you. <laughs> <laughs> Has that hope happened often? <laughs> yeah, it's been known to happen to you. Not me personally. Okay, cool. But I've heard of monkeys like to fling shit. You know? Oh, it's oh the big ones. At, They'd be able to throw those fires. What? Emma, I don't think Emma remembers because it happened when we went to the zoo. I think was it in Germany? Because mm. we had and the monkey that on? was. We had the first. We had the <laughs> monkey that was having a barrel of laughs at us. I don't know if you remember this. Baby. There was a monkey. There's a. I, f- I don't know what type of monkey it was. It was a little one. Um. And it was, a it was like we were we were watching it and it started laughing and we started laughing. So we're like laughing heavy, it's laughing heavy, and we're just sort of like escalating our own laughs at each other. But this monkey was like wrapping its hand around its waist, pointing and laughing at us, which made <laughs> us laugh even more. It was brilliant. Oh. Um but then there was the I think it was the orangutan that flicked some uh That's my favourite at us. They're actually my number one faves. Hmm. They're so cute. Um, is, is, is it because you flung shit at you? <laughs> no, it's because Ember's hair looks like an orangutan when she wakes up. I just <laughs> love them. They're just oh, they're gorgeous. So back to um, back to the other restaurant. That's a good idea. And yeah, I'd go. I'd go. I'd go. I'd go for sure. Agree. you guys being gentlemen what you make of this new proposal now it's even not ever, not even a proposal that's actually happened so in perth western australia there is private car parks i don't know if it's one or a few uh, but privately owned one or more i think it's just one that has basically assigned 28 i think car spaces in the sort of close zone is that what you'd call it close to the shop zone close to the shop zone for female okay. parking only so they're reserved only for female drivers why and they Does have that include transgender and they have a pink sign with you know a, a, i guess a, a female's face and says females only what do you make of that as a male driver why? I don't even. I don't even want to say. To be honest with you, I don't want to be cancelled. <laughs> well, it just and it says kindly reserve this bay for female drivers. Your cooperation is appreciated. Uh, are there bigger spots than the others? <laughs> are there what? What? Bigger? Why? Because women are bigger. No. No. It's not why. Ah. <laughs> oh. Because bad driving. <laughs> okay, so you're saying stuff that other males have also said, like on Reddit and stuff. Um, no. No, no, no. Just, I, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm just, just asking the questions. I have a spot's a little bit bigger for like prams no, and things. But they're, they're <laughs> fitted out with brighter lights, emergency help buttons, and they're near exits. <laughs> <laughs> now is the emergency help button does does a gentleman come outside to park the car for you? <laughs> Jeez. Siege, man. <laughs> you know what? I've I've a feeling Siege is never gonna want to show his face on this <laughs> podcast. Never. <laughs> oh my you know, god. I didn't even think about that. That's why it's so like it's so genius the way that he came with that. It was so quick. No. Oh. So Perth, the council of or city of council or whatever <laughs> of <impressed>. Perth <laughs> have um, agreed to this little thingy because Probably. they're trying to 
yeah, project is they're trying to create a safer environment for women. Yeah, I get that. Because get that. a lot of women feel <laughs> intimidated, scared, or are, yeah. are, you know, shouted at or followed or whatever when they're trying to get back to their car space that might be a dark and empty car space at night or whatever it might be. Yeah, I get that. So they they've made these brighter places closer to the exits and stuff so that I don't women can quickly get to the car. Because that's actually a good reason. It is such a good reason. One in three women experience physical violence from the age of fifteen. In car, in car. This is what I was waiting for. In general, because the reason. So the reason I said why was I could like all the reasons you said prior to that. I could think of those, but I wanted to know. Like I imagined, there was actual data backing this beyond the feeling of things. Yeah, one in three physical violence. One in five sexual violence. And um, a lot of men are angry, though. So they've literally just said, look, there's no legal ramifications if you ignore the signs, but we're just asking for you to try and cooperate with us and respect the cause type thing. Um, Can I hear some of the complaints from the guys? uh, Can I, like, I want to see what kind of, like, I don't know. So I think a lot of people have been saying female privilege, um, Female yep. privilege? Or Walk peop- a couple of metres more, you bloody... <laughs> or people the fe- have the said female like- privilege of being safe like a man. <laughs> <laughs> or like no, no. some people were worried in all honesty, that... If I was being sexually harassed by a bunch of women, I'd want to park closer as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. And um, they're like, oh, sexy ass, come here. You know Ooh, what? There are only a few jeans. men in I'd the like, whole you know, world that get... The um get the same feeling that a woman gets. There's only a few men where Jimmy. women will try to do anything to get to that, and will like grab like Harry Styles. I'm thinking of Harry Styles, right? He is one of the guys that is popular, good looking, right? And he will get abused by women, like they will physically abuse him because they want to. I think you're underestimating oh, the amount of men who get abused by women. Sorry, what was that? I think you're underestimating the amount of men who get abused by women. You, oh, Alexander, are so you? Because you, 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 I'm not one of them. Ernie, so I'm, I'm going from a perspective of a man that's never been abused by a woman. So is there, <laughs> what, what percentage are we talking, Alexander? Okay, when I say this, I don't mean in terms of, I like the way that I guess you were going with it was more the Harry Styles in terms of there's a good chance in a lot of situations that he might face this sort of abuse. Yeah, but I guess the counter that I'm thinking of is the women who get abused. It's they're not getting abused to that level either. Like that's just select oh, humans right. in general that get abused at that much. Yeah. Um, and I'm not in any way trying to say that men get abused as much as women because I don't think that's the case. Yeah. But there's definitely like on a much lower level than how women get it. But there is like I, I, me, lots of my friends have been like handled by women typically older women oh yeah yeah yeah, but, yeah. Oh, it's hard for me to relate game out of play. <laughs> cj do you relate uh, <laughs> CJ. so other people are concerned about like someone said in other news city of perth just became <laughs> just became sexist f's here's another idea make it for all vulnerable vulnerable people not just women how about the elderly who feel unsafe? Men that feel unsafe. Women that feel unsafe. So in other words, anyone. Just uh, anyone honest, that I, doesn't I, I want to get raped, beaten up, held up, or, you know, hire security guards if it's that bad. That's one comment. See, well, to be honest with you, even the, elder, even the elderly should be able to park there. I think there is already parking for the elderly, isn't there? Usually there's senior not, parking, stuff like that. Isn't there, I thought just, oh, uh, isn't that disabled? There's disabled, but some places have senior parking. Yeah, some people go. Uh, I, I I don't remember seeing senior parking. Yeah, because we mm. park. We don't usually go park. We park like four. Ca- yeah. We park four cases. <laughs> yeah. away. I've seen some go. senior parking in some places. Yeah, I just yeah. Uh, parking's one of these things, just in general, that I've never understood why people care. Like, just park anywhere that there's a space, and then walk and, the yeah. extra two minutes. Emma hates it when I do this, right? I'll go, I'll drive in, and Emma will go, there's a parking space there. Ah, uh, it's a bit tight. The one one car's probably close to the line there. I'll keep going for <laughs> And you'll go around for about five or ten minutes before I'm like, just park there. 
Uh, Emma, Emma, I've been in the car with you. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know you, I know your pain. Because <laughs> I like to park where then there's no one next to me. I don't, I'm, like I'm with Alexander, I don't understand why parking, like it, 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 don't, it don't cost us an extra five minutes. It's not I'm gonna, not worried about the five minutes. Do you know what the rules should I would be? just want to get out the car and do what I had to do. <laughs> but what they should do is instead of selecting the closest spaces and decide who parks there, they should put criteria on how able and secure you are as a person and make you park in the furthest spaces and start. That's where you start. You start mm. from the furthest spots away so that then it's the ones that are closer that are left. Oh, s- Alexander, it's so in sort reverse. of, sort, of, sort yeah. of on the on the flip side of that, right? So that pe- men won't get upset, right? You get parking, you'd label the parking signs, only strong men. <laughs> only strong men can park it and it's really far away. <laughs> if you're strong enough, you can park it. You go... <laughs> And men All are the like, men are like lining up for the furthest one. <laughs> men are stupid. They'll and, be like, oh, I'm so tough. Yeah, we are. I'll go all the way over there. <laughs> the furthest left is the is the most strong. <laughs> oh my goodness. All, no- all, all, all you men who love to work out. <laughs> yeah. This is a this is a good warm up for you to walk. <laughs> or helps you gain strength. <laughs> but people are like seriously are against this. They're like, just imagine the firestorm if it was male only car park zone. Jeez. Yeah, there would be a firestorm because there's no yeah, reason be for it. Women. Yeah. Like, there's there's reason and backing behind this for the women. There is no reason and backing if it was for men. So, yeah, people would be pissed. Someone like, goes, why don't they make pissed. it vulnerable parking? Who's more vulnerable? Vul- I can't say that word. Vulnerable. Seven, some 70-year-old guy or a 30-year-old female powerlifter? Oh, wow. What an example. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. To be For that example, you, if she's a female powerlifter, she should be parking with a man. Oh. <laughs> because she's probably going to beat the crap out of most of us. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, some women's response is just like, few things are more terrifying than have to walk a, a, lo- a long way through a deserted car park to my vehicle. Um, Stuff not- that, you know what? Have you ever walked in a dark car park and you're the only car there? Yeah. It's, it's freaky. scary, bro. Yeah, it's freaky. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't feel totally comfortable doing it myself. Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> if I if, 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 if I hear a noise, I'm cocking my fist up <laughs> to hit something. <laughs> CJ's, result, could you- CJ's first thing. <laughs> but then it's supposed to... I think the differences between you, Siege, and women, though, is like your fear is just like movie-driven. Their fear is experience-driven. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ours is movie. Because this one <laughs> says, but almost every adult woman can tell you a story of a time a man has made her feel scared or very uncomfortable, even if not, nothing happened. And that's true. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Good on you, city of Perth. Yeah, it's a good reason why. Yeah. The only, the only to, be, thing to, to be honest with you, I, 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 I've, been hit, I've been in three car accidents, and it's all been women that hit me. <laughs> I, was going the other dire- I was going the other direction. I was like, damn, some of the women at Perth must be doing some shocking driving. <laughs> <laughs> The, the only thing I don't rate about it is their pink signs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Could it have be, made those. Should, should be purple, should, lavender. Just use the bathroom sign for ladies. Just That's whatever it. normal parking sign colors are. Oh. Yeah. They always change, though, don't they? Orange. I don't know. In England, they're typically always blue. Anything to do with parking's blue. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of blue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but... A lot of men are sexist pigs. Okay, guys, I've sent you guys a video and I just want you to watch it and we're just going to have a quick chat about it. There is a lot of shanty houses and it's in sort of fast, they've sped it up and there's a lot of shop fronts, I guess it is. It's a market. Oh, it's is is it a market? Yeah, it's a market. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then they all take their shade cloths down. You're thinking, oh, what's going on? They're packing up for the day. And then this t- this train comes right through the middle, which is exactly the width, basically, of the gap between the... I thought it was homes, so this is less interesting now. No, oh, maybe it is homes. Maybe oh. it is homes there. Um, no, I think, it, I think it's a market. 
It is a market. Yeah, I think it's a marketplace. Uh, but do, do you know what this proves? What? What? They need to get the people from Perth to plan their markets. <laughs> if they can plan parking spaces for women, they'll be able to plan a, a, a market without a train running through it. So it's <laughs> literally a train right running right through a market, but there's no space on either side of the train, as it's in the so satisfying to watch. of the market. It's so satisfying. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like the tin roofs almost would be touching the side of the train as it goes through and it passes through and then they all put their, their shade cloths back up. I think the, the wild part. Oh, so this is, oh, so it's a forward and a backwards. Yeah. 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 I was going to say, because at first, which is stupid, I was like, oh, it's one train going one way, one going the other. But then how would they, that's one track. Um, no, it's super satisfying to watch because it is such a perfect fit. Like this thing. Yeah, and they all have to pull snug. out. Yeah, snug, and they have to. They have all their like stuff, like their table with all the goods, and they have to all pull them in at the same time. It's actually really cool. I Good mean, fine, Dev. I think it's definitely proof that wherever this is is overpopulated. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Where do you think it is? Ah. Uh. I don't I've, actually know. Given the two nations that are the most overpopulated, <laughs> India or India China? Or China? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a guess in India. Yeah, I, I think. I, I, don't think, think I, I, don't I don't know why, but I think it. Um, you can't tell really. Nah, because even the because the voices aren't the voices because it's sped up. You kind of... Yeah. I take it back. I think it's like a Thailand or a Malaysia. Oh, I don't think Maybe. it's Malaysia. Malaysia's pretty um I don't know Thailand, but I don't imagine that they need to do this kind of thing. No, I'm thinking of like a rural suburb. Yeah, but why would you mm. pack your market next to a train line? Like, unless you need the to. Farms. The farms. They might need, have a lot of farming location. And this is where they sell their products. I just, I just, like, I was thinking about... Um, have a look for it. How, like, they just make do. Like, they, they, they know they... Oh, I think it's this one. They know they have to make a living. And they know a train's coming. But it doesn't stop yeah. them from selling. It's just like... No, but, but you have to think. The train's stopping there, right? Oh, is the train stopping there? It's, it looks like it's going and coming. Yeah. Right? So there's probably, there's probably people there to purchase the products. Oh, I just this one. I, I, I'm assuming well, they've put the market there because there's like a train station nearby. The people who stop can go do so, their vegetable shopping. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So in your That's mind, what I'm thinking of. In your mind, there's space for this market to be somewhere else, but they've decided to put it on a train line. Right on the train station... So they no, get no, all no. the people coming no, back no. from work? Not on the train station. They walk through the market and purchase <laughs> items. CJ, no, this isn't on a train station. On this train is tracks. on a train line. Like yeah, It's on a train line. It's on top it's on of the line. Station. I <laughs> found it. Anyway. Where is it? Um, Mekong Ma Market near Bangkok. Oh, it's in Thailand. They said... Someone said, I've been there. I saw a living catfish jumping out of a basin and fell on the railway track. The seller was like, HDGAF, which I'm guessing is he don't give a. <laughs> Look, I'm just thinking they've put it, they put it there. So when people get off the trains, they're able to walk through the market onto on the train tracks to purchase things for home. This is from a different angle. I'm going to send you guys this. Look how many tourists had their bloody um iPhones out. This is insane. Eight bro, times a day. Bro, the food is under the right. They, That's they what know I was, how close I was just they thinking, can get. Who's about to eat that? <laughs> oh man. Oh, there's the catfish. No, no, I'm I'm you know what you, you know what I'm thinking? Why didn't they put the end of the shop on the train line and open up the other side? Because <laughs> <laughs> then you couldn't walk Look through at the middle amount of, it. of phones. They know exactly how high the bloody. Look at this lady. She's having a feed. 
Oh, that's too close. When you got it on the railway line, you got it too close. Oh, the shells are on the wheels. Now, <laughs> now I know for certain that safety has gone too far everywhere else in the world. <laughs> too far. <laughs> if you can put trains and markets together, this is too far. We've oh gone too my far. God. No, you know this Safety's, proves. What? People in Thailand have common sense. When the trains are coming, you get out of the way. When the trains are coming, don't come bumping. You make sure you're not in front of it. <laughs> it's true. It's common well, sense, Australia, right? Is that well, like a problem well, well, in other in countries? Places? Yeah, people are stupid. Yeah, you're right. I do. I do see on the news every week someone getting hit by a train. Yeah, someone runs across <laughs> the train line as the train's coming. <laughs> I, do, I I feel like this. We need to. I still think I'm right. I'm thinking the train's stopping and people are walking through it. Yeah, people are walking through the market. So I think I'm right. Yeah. Yeah, but what Wait. what we're saying is it's not that like they didn't. They didn't scout locations and went, ah, oh, perfect spot. Like, it was forced <laughs> yeah. to be I think they did. Lack of space. <laughs> no, I, I, I think they put it there because there's always people coming in through the trains. <laughs> I don't have any more to I don't know. Uh, I haven't got any facts to prove you wrong. <laughs> I, I haven't, but like, yeah. there are shops are near train stations. I've Prove never seen. Wrong. I've never seen one of them on the train line. Like, there's a difference. <laughs> well, in some reason in Thailand, make long. They like make long. they yeah. like to walk make on the train line and pick up the grocery shopping at the same time. Can you Don't say? Don't judge people, man. Let, let them be. <laughs> I'm not guys, I'm been deep. there Can since around 1905. Oh, I've been there since 1905. Let's let's read the story. Let's have a look. Let's, let's have. have a look. Look. I'm more intrigued because, uh, like, I understand the question that Alexander's saying, and I'm so I'm so intrigued by the confidence of CJ saying, okay. nah. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the way it is." <laughs> while Wait, this is Bangkok's first, boasts of being Bangkok's first train market, it's nowhere even near it. This market was moved in 2013 after it became too large for its previous location. There is one market, however, that actually sits atop a train track um blah blah, blah. this one <laughs> here is everything you need to know okay so it was it's been around since 1905 it's in the samut song kram located on the gulf of thailand fishing was and still is one of the main livelihoods um officials decided to build a railway in order to better de deliver these goods to provinces around thailand the market remained, however, despite the new tracks that cut through it. So the market was there first. The market was there first. And then they put a trail a train line through it. So it wasn't the market's thinking. We never even thought about the train. The guy that was <laughs> deciding to put the train through is like They're like, Oh, I need to get there. Gap. There's a gap between these stalls. <laughs> I put it right in to be honest with you, I really didn't think of that one. The train driver the train driver was like, hmm. I could do my shopping at work. <laughs> you, you know what gets He's me? He's driving past. Get me some bok choy for the next trip. He probably has like the dailies and in the in morning the he goes past the coffee and then by the next one he gets his. Like... You, you know what gets me, right? The, the train guys, the train people are like, we're going to put tracks down here. And the market people are like, well, we're not moving we're either. Moving. <laughs> <laughs> Build your track. I'm not moving. <laughs> Oh, they they, they give him the finger, like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> us moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Wow, that's so interesting. They're, they're... So I was kind of right. And that's another week of the B side word. First episode of the year done and dusted. Thank you guys for joining in. Signing off, Ems. Ciao. Signing off, CJ. Do you know what? Mother. I recently watched Wonder, oh, mm. I recently Signing watched Wonder off, Woman. Signing off, Alexander. <laughs> Ciao. And I uh, hope to see you next week. Wonder Woman Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Is, is, has anyone seen Wonder Woman? <laughs>